what's up everybody Josh back here with Planet Chinchilla uh, been a couple days again but wanted to get another quick video out this one is about another question that I saw pop up here in the last couple days um, do chinchillas adapt to their environment um, and if they do how quickly is kind of the question that people have because I think that people have a concern on you know what to expect when you get home with these guys or how they're gonna be around the kids or other animals in the house or just if they're even gonna be willing to be pet cuddled hugged touched whatever the case may be so I wanted to make a quick video here get a little bit of footage of Chili running around which right now she's actually being pretty uh, pretty photogenic just wanting to chill out for a minute but long story short yeah uh, chinchillas adapt very quickly to their environment um, if you do it correctly and what do I mean by that so biggest tip is don't rush it and don't force it so I got my chinchilla from a breeder that was about two hours away from my home here in Illinois and basically what I was told by her and what I did was I got her into her cage um, got her back home I used a little travel cage you guys can see I actually use it now sometimes to get her back into her big critter nation cage here the dual level cage um, <clears throat> once I got her in there I did not do playtime for about 10 days um, I did softly and slowly try and break her in with a, a little treat here and there just to get her to kind of come to the front of the cage get her interacting with me get her used to my voice my smells um, not that I want to say I have smells, but I'm assuming that she picks up different scents. <laughs> She's being crazy right now. Um, a little bit better than other animals. So I just kind of let her get used to the noises. So if she, imagine if you have a chinchilla like I do right now in a basement. Um, down here you got the furnace, the air conditioner. My dog upstairs barks. My two-year-old kid screams. It's just important that they get used to those noises and they kind of figure out when those noises take place and they kind of build their sleeping around those things and once they're comfortable and realize that you know I'm here to stay this is where I'm living now then things get much better so in all honesty I have no idea what she's doing right now this is what she does to me though when I make a video she does the complete opposite of what I'm trying to illustrate um, but once they are used to it and they're in that situation they'll you know they'll come out and play and they'll jump on your lap and sit on your shoulder and do all sorts of crazy stuff but it does take time and not a lot of time so I think people get freaked out by that too they think like oh man it's gonna take this big process no not at all a few days give them some space don't push it don't shove your fingers in their face don't be an idiot about it just treat them like you would any other animal or anybody else if they seem scared back off if they want you to pet them pet them um, kind of just like a dog at that point or any animal you get from the shelter just give them that space and that time to adjust and they'll be fine so I think she's finally gonna show off some jumping skills here and run around for a little bit she'll probably go underneath the cage she always does that right when she gets out but once they're not scared anymore she loves this back corner over here I don't know what she's doing honestly she's being nuts um, once they're used to the environment they will you know begin doing what you're witnessing her doing now running around being crazy and I mean it's hard to even capture this on camera honestly she's nuts this is her trying to hide underneath the shop back cord um, and they'll you know do what you wanted to adopt them for at that point you know they're fun fun animals to own and witnessing them do some of the stuff that they do is just awesome so let me give you guys so I had three other tips I wanted to go over about getting them acclimated which has a lot to do with their cage which I'm trying to get the focus here on this camera sorry that I suck with these um, so tip number one is spend the money on a big enough cage if you want them to adapt quickly these guys like to climb jump play you need the shelves you need it to be something like this which is the critter nation dual level cage she can get up on that top level I have the insert taken out of the liner and climb everywhere in this cage 
So they need their hiding box. That is what makes them feel safe. And they need that space. Those fleece liners, like I say in all my videos, are a dream come true. Run them through a washer on cold water, you're done. They're clean, they replace it. I don't have to use any bedding for her to basically keep her cage clean at all times. So, you don't have to buy the Critter Nation cage. I don't care what cage you buy. Just buy a cage that's big enough for them to be themselves. That's how they adapt. If they can't jump, they can't climb, they can't chew, they can't play, well, clearly they're going to have a little bit of a difficulty adapting. It'd be like shoving a dog in, size of, in a kennel that big that they don't belong inside of. So give them their space, give them what they need, and the process is going to be much, much smoother for you. Next tip is don't force playtime. So playtime is obviously something that's extremely important with these guys. You need to be doing it, but not in the beginning. You don't need to be freaking them out, shoving them out of their cage, or making them sit on your lap when you first bring them home. They're not going to do it. They're not going to like it. And they don't know you. They don't trust you yet. So they are hunted in the wild. They're not the hunters. They're not used to showing any form of aggression or survival skills except running away. So when they're scared, they will run away. If that's happening, you need to change up what you're doing. She should be comfortable being around you. She'll go in, I mean, right now she's just letting out some energy because I'm letting her out about two hours later than I usually do. But if you give them the time, it's going to go smooth. If you don't, you're going to have issues. So let them break into the environment, get them out and stay out of their bubble in the beginning. Again, this should only take, you know, 10 to 15 days and that's on the long scale. That doesn't mean that in 10 to 15 days you can be sleeping in bed with them or cuddling that just means that they're comfortable for the most part so again like any common sense situation continue to exercise common sense the entire time if it's been three weeks and she or he still doesn't like you petting their butt don't pet their butt if she likes the chin rub rub their chin figure out your animal interact with them and you're, you're going to build a, a pretty good bond over time just respecting them like, I know for a fact that Chili here, and she's a one-year-old female, does not like coming out and cuddling or sitting on my lap if my two-year-old son's down here. He drives her crazy. She doesn't like the loud noises. She acts completely different. Now, when it's just me, we're okay. I can basically do whatever I want at that point, minus she doesn't like to be held for more than about a minute at a time. So if you try and push those boundaries, she's going to try and get out of your arms or she's going to get squirrely on you. Um, she also seems to be weird with this camera. So when I take pictures and the flash is on, she freaks out. So I stopped using the flash and I just turn on more lights now at this point. Um, it's just little things like that that go a long way with these guys. If I can even stand a chance at keeping her on camera for you guys, I would. Now she's way back here hanging out being crazy. Um, these wires, make sure they're up, out of her way. They're going to chew those wires if you don't keep them up. So I need to put that one up as soon as I'm done making this video. Now, I don't leave her down here by herself by any means, so it's not as big of a deal. But if you did happen to turn away, get on your computer, start messaging on your phone, watching cat videos, whatever, you don't want those wires to where they can chew them, especially if they have electricity passing through them. That's an even bigger deal at that point. So make sure that those are hidden away. Um, besides that, just don't get overwhelmed by it. You know, it, it's not a tough thing owning one of these. And a lot of people think it is. It's easy. Um, they're easy to clean, easy to care for, easy to feed. Nothing about it's difficult in any way. Um, just give them time, respect their boundaries, and go from there. Also, if you guys haven't done it already, uh, please show some support for this channel. Nail that like button below. Hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to build this up to the point to where I can start kind of making it a little bit of a more fun style channel. For example, um, this is coming in the next month, so don't be hitting me in the comments for it yet. But this cage I'm currently going to duplicate with custom wood and rebuild it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a video and then for the amount of comments that come in in the month of July, 
I'm going to send that cage to somebody for free. So it's basically going to be a Critter Nation cage made out of wood with the shelves built into it. Um, my reason for doing this is I want to see if I can make an even bigger cage for her. So replicate the process with these side panels and the, the trays. Um, and then I'm, once I have that down, which will be in the month of June, I will replicate that process one more time in July with the same wood and materials. And I will be giving away that cage for free. Um, and I'm going to pick one random commenter from the boxes below. So if we don't get enough comments, that kind of eliminates the entire purpose of doing it. So drop some comments. Let me know how long it took for your chinchilla to get used to their environment or whatever the comment may be. Um, that these videos need a better photographer or better camera handler. Whatever you want to leave in the comments below, leave it. Subscribe and like the channel. Um, keep coming back for more. I do two videos a week right now. Hopefully we get that up to three soon um, when my calendar frees up, but we'll kind of gauge it and go from there. But yeah, again, to reemphasize, they do adapt to their environment and they do it quickly. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, if you guys want to read the blog post that's designed for this specific question, you can go to planetchinchilla.com, which is P-L-A-N-E-T chinchilla.com and it'll be one of the most recent blog posts labeled do chinchillas adapt to their environment go ahead read it um, you know I got 2,000 words in there explaining exactly what to do how to do it and what not to do similar to this video but for those that you like to read and do your due diligence on the research head on over to planetchinchilla.com check it out it's called do chinchillas adapt to their environment and like, subscribe below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.